So today we're going to go and spend £199 at Apple and ask them to change the battery on this 2012 MacBook Pro. <laughs> no we're not, we're going to do it ourselves for 69 quid. So to start with we're going to remove the 10k screws, now they're all identical with exception of two. So the two screws that are next to the MacBook logo on the underside, they're slightly different, they're slightly smaller, so just be aware of that when putting it back together. So just feel down the side until you feel until you can slide your fingernail under the cover and then just lift it gently. The first thing you want to do is remove the connector from the motherboard, that way you've isolated the power from the battery. And then you need to look at, locate the two screws that secure the battery in place, and we'll unscrew those next. Once those screws are removed, pop them to the side safely, and we'll come back to them later. The secret weapon of choice is isopropanol alcohol with a little straw so that you can get it under the battery. Don't worry if you get a little bit on the board, it's not conductive, it's not going to damage the board, but do go easy on how much you spray. Ideally you want to get just enough isopropanol under the battery to, to dissolve the adhesive. Personally I find it easier if you tilt the laptop slightly you can get the isopropanol to run under the battery. Just makes the adhesion a little bit easier to remove. Now take a minute just to examine the adhesion of the battery. Every battery is going to be different. Some are going to be stuck down a little bit firmer than others. Mine it's not stuck down really as firm as, me as most will be but you know if um, if it's been there for a long time or since new then it'll be stuck down quite firmly so the key with this is just to take your time and go slow and make sure you use plastic tools. If there's a part of the battery that won't budge just move on to the next bit, take your time, don't risk ripping the battery. I can't stress enough if you rip the battery then it's game over so take your time a part of the battery that won't come up easily. Take your time, move on to something else and then come back to it with a bit, little bit more isopropanol. So just gently pry each cell up one at a time gently and let the IPA do all the work for you. You'll notice by the time you cut to the end, everything's free. Once you can feel the battery is moving around freely, just put something under it to stop it sticking down and then gently remove it. And that's the scary part of this process all out of the way. The next job is just getting the remainder of the adhesive off the bottom of the laptop. So take your time with this one, use the IPA 
and just peel it off gently. I found it easiest to use my fingernail, but you may find it easier to use a credit card. This bit's pretty easy, you're just wiping up the sticky residue from those pads. Just take your time and make sure you've got it all off because you want the new battery to stick nice and firm. Now a quick look on the underside of the battery, you'll see that it's covered at the moment with a plastic cover. Underneath that you've got your adhesive pads already attached to the battery so it's just a case of lining up the battery now in the case and making sure that it's straight and that it's going to fit correctly and then laying it down. Once you're happy that your battery locates securely into place, remove the battery, remove the plastic off the battery to reveal the pads and then relocate it in place. Take your time to make sure you get it perfectly lined up before you press it down. This is definitely one of those situations where getting it right first time matters, as you don't want to be having to get the battery off again. Next you want to reseat the connector and re energizes the board and then replace the two screws that hold the battery in place. Remove the plastic film remember to dispose of the old battery safely. I'd recommend taking it to your local battery recycler. Uh, usually there's the, they're usually found in supermarkets or you can find them at the local tip. And replacing the rear cover is just the inverse of when you took it off. Again, pay attention to the two small screws next to the MacBook Pro logo as they're smaller than all the others. And there we have it, the moment of truth. Let's power it up and see if it works. Did you doubt me? <laughs> Did you know we're also on Instagram, EVMYT, and on Twitter, EVMYT1? As always, if you've enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye!